All right, so that scene where Lizard is getting hit, guess what? No, that is not Tobey Maguire. That is not Andrew Garfield. Like I said in another video, they are not in the movie. You know who that is? That's Miles Morales. Miles Morales, people. You forgot Miles Morales is invisible. So if there's anybody, if there's any Spider-Man that's down there punching Lizard that you do not see, that's Miles Morales. Oh, well, why, why didn't they, why, why I didn't see him? Because he has the power to make himself, he has the ability to make himself invisible. All right. That's one of his, that separates him from the, um, the original Peter Parker. He can make himself invisible. All right. So if Lizard is getting punched right there, it's quite possible he's getting punched by an invisible Miles Morales. What's crazy, everybody, mostly everybody with their theories and stuff, and I got theories too on this, they keep saying that, well, it's alternate universes, so that means they're going to have Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. But you haven't, I haven't heard many people mention Miles Morales. Hell, or even Spider-Gwen, okay? Like, it's quite possible they could be the ones in there. Let's say if there, were, there are going to be two other Spider-Mans in there, it's quite possible that it's going to be Tom Holland's Peter Parker, it's going to be Miles Morales, and it's going to be Spider-Gwen, okay? Because like I say, um, Dr. Oct, his hair was reddish brown in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. And um, what's the other one? Um, 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 Electro. He had some weird type of hair. His hair was not thoroughly groomed like it is in No Way Home. In No Way Home, he has a fade. He didn't have that kind of hairstyle before he died um, in Amazing Spider-Man 2. All right. So it's quite possible, people. It's very, very possible. A lot of people are like, well, there's Sandman. Sandman didn't even die. But maybe he died in a different timeline. Because we don't know if that's Tom and Hayden's church, Sandman. All we saw was a big dog on Sandman. Looked like the same Sandman that Mysterio had up and stuff. And it's projecting fake thingy and stuff in um, the last Spider-Man movie. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, and a lot of people are like on, the, on that video, on this video, well, it's like, well, he's getting punched. Lizard is getting punched. Here's what I know, all right, from watching Lizard, from Spider-Man's face Lizard in the and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield didn't run up on him straight up and punch him. He was not able to do that. Whenever most of his licks on Lizard, okay, he's shooting his webs, or he will, you know, he will hurry up and use his quickness and he'll jump up behind him. He'll jump up behind him and he'll hit him, hit him from the back like that, or whatever, or he'll use his webs and he'll use his webs to sling something at him. You know, but he wasn't like Lizard is too good of a defensive fighter to allow spider-man to just run straight up on him and just bam hit him like that to the point where his neck is turning like that and here's another thing spider-man doesn't pack that much power in his punch to to do lizard like that unless unless this is a different doggone spider-man or whatever that's not in the other ones or whatever you know what i'm saying but anyways um but like i say i'm standing by my theory if there if there is a spider-man that's punching him doing that I think it's Miles Morales and he's invisible. And the thing about it is that everybody is saying, well, Lizard was facing somebody. Well, Miles Morales can make you see him and, and you don't see him. And then bam. And you're like, where is he at? Boom. And that's and see, that's how people get knocked out. A lot of times it's not about the power of the punch. It's all about the it's the punches that you don't see coming that gets you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I heard. I never got knocked out like that, thank God, and hopefully I never, ever do. But that's what I heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, from a lot of professional fighters and stuff, they say it's the ones that you don't see. It's like, bam, because you have no time to brace yourself for it. But also, it's quite possible. You see all those poles. Lizard is, is going, is tacking straight or moving straight forward until all those poles collapse and fall down. Now, he's a lizard. Now, lizards are quick. They're very agile and stuff. I don't think their senses, his reflexes are just like spiders, but it's like they lizards are quick. There are quick lizards, people. So it's quite possible all those poles collapsing. You know, that's not lizard's head turning because he got punched. No, that's him turn. That's him adjusting his body, turning around, trying to avoid from getting hit by all those poles. OK, go back and look at that video. That's what I'm like. OK, I mean, this doesn't there's nothing in there. You know, and here's the thing. Since when do we know Kevin Feige and them making a slip up like that? I mean, come on now. Let's let's pay attention to the resume here. I'm not saying the dude's perfect, but I mean, come on, man. Come on now. But it is a lot of it is good to talk about, I must say. This is awesome to talk about. But I stand by what I said. That if that is a Spider-Man right there, it's Miles Morales. 
if there's not, if you watch the movie and then there's nothing right there, then I think what's going to happen is that's him avoiding the polls. All right. That's what I think. All right. Share your thoughts in the comment section below if you're watching the YouTube video and let me know what are your thoughts on that part of the trailer? Do you think that um, they just took Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire out and that's one of them um, really punching him and that's what um, Lizard is reacting to? Or do you believe, hey, it could be Miles Morales, you know, being invisible and actually hitting him? Or is Lizard straight up trying to dodge those poles? Who wants to get hit by poles, right? I know I don't want to get hit by a pole. I know real lizards don't want to get hit by a pole. You think a fictional lizard like lizard want to get hit by a pole? I think not. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and hit that like and subscribe button. Student of the game. Peace. Out.